All right, people. I'm here to show you my no fuss method of factoring. Now this is also called the AC method, but I don't go all the way through that group and stuff. I make this a shorter problem by using fraction reduction. Now, pay attention as I work these four problems. First problem, 4x squared plus 5x minus 21. On my method, we multiply the first number times the last. That gives me 84. Now, I use 84 temporarily as my last number. I want factors of 84 that subtract and give me 5. All right. Factors of 84 that subtract and give me 5 are 12 and 7. Now, since I got a minus at the end, that means I have unlike signs here. The larger factor has the same sign as the middle, which makes my 7 negative. 12 and negative 7 add up to a negative 5. Now, my next step, we divide both of these by the first number and we put the variable on bottom. Same thing over here. Divide by four and put the variable on bottom. Now, the trick is to reduce these fractions. Well, I can reduce 12 over 4x into a three over one x. The negative seven over four x, that does not reduce. So, to get my final answer, I put the bottom number and x in front, the top number and sign go in back. Since there's no sign on the three, I know it is a plus. Same thing here. The bottom number out front, which is my 4x, top number and sign, which is the negative seven, go second. Final answer, x plus three times 4x minus seven. All right, number two. 6y squared minus 17y plus 12. Now, I'm going to do the same thing, except this time the last sign is positive. So both my factors, when I write them, I'm going to make negative like the middle number. Okay. 6 times 12 is 72. I now need factors of 72 that add and give me 17. That's going to be 9 and 8. Now, since the middle was negative, we made both of these numbers negative. Negative 9 and negative 8 still add up and give me negative 17. Now, we're going to divide both of these by the first number again and the variable. Notice, both fractions will reduce. Over here, both these numbers have a three, so I'm dividing the three out, giving me a negative three over two y. On my next side, both of them have a two, so I'm gonna take the two out, giving me a negative four over three y. Y'all, that's all I need for my final answer. Come down, make my parentheses. I get a 2y minus 3, and I get a 3y minus 4. Final answer. All right, next problem. 8x squared minus 2x minus 15. All right, y'all. I got 8 times 15, which looks like 120. Last sign's negative. That means I'm going to have two factors with different signs. The larger factor will have a negative like the middle number. Now, 
I need factors of 120 that subtract and give me 2. Well, y'all, that is 12 and 10. The larger number 12 is negative, like the middle number. Now, I'm going to divide both of these by the first number, which is 8, and the variable. Same thing over here. Divide by 8 and the variable. Next, reduce the fractions. If you notice, 12 and 8 both have a 4 in them, so dividing out the 4 gives me negative 3 over 2x. Over here, 10 and 8 both have a 2 in them, so dividing both of them by 2 gives me 5 over 4x. And now, I'm ready for my final answer. Bottom number on left, top number in the sign, behind. Bottom number on the left, top number, and sign on the right. Notice, once again, no sign, so I made that positive. Alright, looks like we got one more. Alright y'all, uh, let's see, we're going to do a 9x squared plus 24x plus 16. Okay, last sign's positive, so both my factors when I find them are going to be positive like the middle number. So, we're going to do 9 times 16, y'all, that's going to give me 144. Okay, now, I'm going to need factors of 144 that add and give me 12, I mean 24. And those two numbers are 12. Now, both positive like the middle number. Okay, divide them both by the first number and the variable, which gives me a 9x here and a 9x there. Now, we're going to reduce both fractions. 4 and 9, I mean 12 and 9, both have a 3 in them. So dividing out to 3's gives me a 4 over 3x. Same thing here, take out the 3's, giving you a 4 over 3x. Notice, these are identical fractions. So my final answer is going to be squared. Because remember, identical factors I can write as one factor squared. And that factor is 3x plus 4. And y'all, that is our final answer. Alright, that's all the factor and I feel like today. So, come back again and I will show you more ways to do your math easy.